Welcome, this is MC Squared Coaching Center and ang topic po natin ngayon is Trigonometry Part 3. Okay, so medyo matagal na po tayong hindi nakapag-post and now this is my uh, continuation po ng Trigonometry natin. Okay, I hope katabi pa rin natin yung calculator natin, preferably yung Casio po, so yung ginagamit po natin sa board exam. Para mas mapabilis nating masundan, yung discussion ko po sa trigonometry part 3. Okay, so let us start. Problem number 1, if cosine theta equals to negative 2 thirds and cotangent theta is greater than 0, find cosecant theta. Okay, this is letter A, negative square root of 5 over 3. Letter B, square root of 5 over 3. Letter C, negative 3 over square root of 5. Letter D, 3 over square root of 5. Okay. Now, take note, dito class, na yung cosine theta natin is negative 2 thirds. So, negative, it means pwedeng nasa second or third quadrant. And another given is cotangent theta is greater than 0. Therefore, that is positive. Yung reciprocal ng cotangent theta is tangent theta. So, positive siya. And therefore, na pag positive si tangent theta, nasa third quadrant. So, kung nasa third quadrant siya, si tangent theta, then therefore, itong cosine theta na to, nasa third quadrant din. Then, si sine theta is nasa third quadrant din. Okay, para masundan yung sinasabi ko, remember again, the, ano, the uh, mnemonic na all saints to church. So, just a recap, when we say all saints to church, all, this is for the first quadrant, all trigonometric functions, including yung reciprocal niya, are all positive sa first quadrant. Okay? Yung ano naman, yung, yung saints naman, this will represent the second quadrant, only the sine function and its reciprocal ang positive second quadrant. Ano yung reciprocal ng sine? That is cosecant. Okay? Ito naman yung mag-represent sa third quadrant. And tangent and its reciprocal ang positive sa third quadrant. And what is the reciprocal of tangent? That is cotangent. And sa fourth quadrant, church, C, will represent cosine and only cosine and its reciprocal naman ang positive sa fourth quadrant. So, cosine, reciprocal ng cosine is second. So, by that class, so cotangent theta is greater than zero. Ito yung given then therefore, tangent theta is greater than 0 also because the, the reciprocal of cotangent theta is tangent theta. And if tangent theta is positive, then therefore, it is in the third quadrant. So, pag nasa third quadrant siya, then therefore, ang sine at saka cosine niya are both negative. Remember that tangent theta equals to co sine theta over cosine theta. So, if your cosine theta is negative, then therefore, your sine theta is also negative para lalabas na si tangent theta mo is positive. Okay? So, ganun lang yun. Okay? So, ulitin ko, if cosine theta, based on the given, is negative, then therefore, sine theta is negative also because yung cotangent theta natin is positive and tangent theta natin is positive. So again, para ang tangent theta maging positive and if ang cosine theta is negative, dapat yung sine theta natin is negative. So it means class na yung correct answer dito is must be negative. Bakit must be negative? Yung tinatanong kasi is cosecant theta and as we all know, cosecant theta is reciprocal of sine theta. And, and we know that yung sine theta natin is what? Yung sine theta natin is negative. So, kung negative yung sine theta natin class, then therefore, eliminate na natin yung mga positive. So, eliminate na natin si letter B, tsaka eliminate na rin natin si letter D. Okay? So, kasi ito negative. So, kung negative yan, then therefore, itong cosecant na to is also negative. So, the possible answers are it's either letter A or letter C. Okay? So, next natin gawin is to sure, is to make sure kung alin talaga yung answer. Is it letter A or letter C? Para masigurado natin, gagamit tayo ng 
calculator. Okay, from the calculator, gamit tayo ng calculator ngayon in order for us to solve the theta. So, from the given that cosine theta equals to negative 2 square root of 3, kukunin po natin yung theta value. So, paano kukunin yung theta na value? Press shift and then uh, cos as that is the arc cos and then the negative, negative 2, yun yung negative 2 thirds, 2 thirds and then ito. So, after i-press natin yung equal, makukuha natin yung value ng theta. So, yung theta natin is 131.8103149 degrees po yan. And then, uh, kung titignan natin yung angle, if that is 131, is either nasa second or the third quadrant, which is correct. Pero upon our analysis, kailangan daw yung cotangent theta is greater than zero. Sabi sa problem, then therefore, alam natin na yung yung sine theta is nasa third quadrant. So therefore, yung cosine nasa third quadrant, then yung sine nasa third quadrant para maging yung cotangent theta or tangent theta natin maging positive. So the next natin kunin is kukunin natin yung value ng sine. So yung angle na yan, idiretso na lang po natin yung siyang sine. So uh, then negative, bakit lagyan ko ng negative? Bak kasi nga nilagyan ko ng negative kasi nga nasa third quadrant tayo. Okay, nasa third quadrant tayo. And then sine yung angle na na-solve kanina. So, pag press natin ng equal, yan po yung sine theta natin. So, that is negative. It's because uh, nasa third quadrant tayo. Okay. So, next natin yan is kukunin natin yung cosecant theta na. So, yung cosecant theta kasi yung tinatanong. So, yung cosecant theta is reciprocal ng sine. So, para makuha natin, i-press lang natin ito. So, pag-press natin, makuha na natin yung cosecant theta. So, press equal the cosecant theta is negative 1.34160487.86. Now, ang tanong, alin kay letter A at saka kay letter C ang sagot? So, para malaman natin yan, isave muna natin itong cosecant theta natin sa x. Okay. Next natin isisave yung value naman ng 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 letter A at saka letter C. Yung value ng sa letter A, that is negative square root of 5 divided by 3 and then, store natin yan kay A and then, yung sa letter B naman, uh, no, not letter B, letter C, negative 3 divided by square root of 5 and then, uh, store lang po natin yan kay C. Okay. So, okay na. Next natin gawin is to check if si letter B, letter B, letter A po ba yung correct answer. So, paano i-check kung si letter A yung correct answer? Press alpha, A, and then minus X. Now, again, yung cosecant theta na value natin, na save po natin dito kay X. And then, yung A natin, yan po yung value na, na nasa choice sa choices. Okay? Sa so letter A, choice letter letter A na choice, okay? Now, if zero yung lalabas ng difference nila, then therefore si letter A ang answer. If hindi, therefore obvious na masyado na si letter C yung correct answer. So check natin. Ayun, hindi po zero yung lumabas. Ang lumabas is 0 0.59628794. So therefore, it's very obvious now na yung correct answer is si letter C. Kasi nga, si letter A po, compared sa cosecant theta na value, is hindi po sila equal. Okay? Kasi yung value, yung difference 0 0.59 So, para ma-sure natin na si letter C yung correct answer, check natin, alpha C minus alpha X. So, kailangan, if si letter C yung correct answer, pag-press natin ng equal, lalabas na na zero. Okay? So, ayun. So, it's very obvious na yung correct answer natin is si letter letter C. Okay? So, yun. So, yung correct answer 
natin si letter C based sa calculator natin. Okay? So, based sa calculator natin. So, press equal natin. So, obvious masyado na si letter C yung correct answer. So, just a recap. Itong A na to, store natin dyan kay variable A. Itong C na to, store natin dyan dito kay variable C. Yung value na solve natin kanina, yun yung nakastore kay variable X. Okay? So, the correct answer here is letter C, negative 3 over square root of 5. Problem number 2, given an angle, titan 315 degrees in standard position, find the associated reference angle of theta. Again, given an angle theta equals to 315 degrees in standard position, find the associated reference angle of theta. So, remember, yung magbibigay ako ng formulas na apat na formula per quadrant para ma-solve natin yung reference angle theta. So, in order for us to solve for the reference angle, in all cases, theta is measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. So, case 1, if the terminal side of an angle is in the first quadrant, so, reference angle natin is theta. Diretso lang, pag nasa first quadrant yung terminal. Yung terminal side naman ng angle natin is nasa second quadrant. Therefore, 180 minus theta yung formula for, in order for us to solve for the reference angle. Case 3 naman, if the terminal side of an angle is in the third quadrant, so the, in order for us to solve for the reference angle, theta minus 180 degrees. And for the last case, if the terminal side of an angle is in the fourth quadrant, so the reference angle natin is 360 minus theta. And from the given, 315, it's very obvious that the terminal side, pag 315 degrees yung given, yung terminal side po natin yan is nasa fourth quadrant. Okay? So, if nasa, nasa fourth quadrant. So, therefore, ang answer po dito is 45 degrees. Ito po yung terminal side na sinasabi natin. Then, yung formula na gagamitin is 360 minus theta. And which theta is given as 315 degrees. So, the correct answer here is letter letter C. Okay? So, I hope klaro po yung pagkakadiscuss ko po. Again, if my question, you can message me sa messenger po. Wag po mahiya po. Okay, problem number 3, find the value of arc tan, 2 cosine arc sin square root of 3 over 2. Find the value of arc tan, 2 cosine arc sin square root of 3 over 2. Is it letter A, pi over 3? Letter B, pi over 6? Letter C, pi over 4? Letter D, pi over 2? Okay, so again, napakadali lang pag ganito yung problem, kuha ka agad ng calculator and input mo yung given sa calculator. Okay? So, ang gawin natin, ang gawin natin is i-copy lang natin yung given. Yung given natin is uh, arctan. So, kung arctan, that is shift. Una po yung arctan, tan. And then, uh, 2. And then, and then, cosine. And then, after ng cosine is uh, arc sine na naman tayo. Okay. So, arc sine na naman tayo sa loob. So, you have shift, sine. Okay, arc sine tayo. And then, yung sa loob ng arc sine is square root of 3. Square root of 3 divided by 2. Okay. So, papasok yan. Square root of 3 divided by 2. So, yun. So, and then, uh, make sure, ang mali natin dito, naka-degree yung calculator natin make sure gawin natin radian. So, to radian, uh, shift, uh, set up, so, choose for, para ma-radian na. Check natin, R na pong nakalagay, so, therefore, that is, radian na po siya. So, press equal, press natin equal, lumabas na pi over 4, and based sa choices, pi over 4, that is letter, letter C. Okay, so ganun lang yung pag-input natin sa sa calculator. Okay, so yan o, oh, pakita ko sa inyo. So yan po yung given, or yan po yung given na nasa tinatanong. And then after yung matype niyan, press equal, ayan, lumabas na. 1 of 4 pi, or that is pi over 4. And that is letter, letter C. 
Okay, so yung correct answer natin is letter C. Okay, so napakadali lang. Kuha ka ng calculator and then copy the given and tapos na po tayo. But basta make sure na yung calculator mo nasa region mode. Okay, so thank you for watching and I hope to see you again on Trigonometry Part 4. Again, do not forget to click subscribe and yung notification button natin. So, eh, para every time po mag-upload ako, ma-notify po kayo. So, sa iba po, if ever, uh, please don't forget to share also my video. And if ever may requested videos or may requested le lecture po kayo, so just message me lang po and then give me your uh, problems na ipapadiscuss po ninyo. Again, thank you and have a nice day.